Introduction to polynomials. So a polynomial is going to look something like this, where we have a n x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 a n minus 2 x to the n minus 2 plus dot 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 all the way down to a 0 x to the 0. So this looks kind of ugly right now, but should all make sense in a minute. So whereas what we can see here is that n is just going down by 1 each time, all the way until it gets to 0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1, so you'll just be left with a to the 0 there. So in a polynomial, the term in front of your variable we call the coefficient. So these are our coefficients. And our last term here, we call the constant term, because it has no variable, because the x to the power of 0 is just going to be 1 there. And this whole term here is our leading term, which actually defines the polynomial. And that highest term is, is how we can like name our polynomial. So let's... Let's look at some. So if we just have 3 on its own, this is just a constant, and that's where we're going to start. Now if we have 3x plus 1, this is going to be linear, and we can see our highest, because our highest power of the variable is 1. So again, we're talking about our leading term having a coefficient of 3 and a constant term of 1, and we can keep going, so we can get a quadratic, which is going to look something like 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. We can get a cubic, which will look something like x cubed plus x squared plus 2x minus 3. We can get a quartic, which might be 4x to the 4 plus 1, so you don't have to have all the, the other terms with it, and so forth. And when we look at polynomials, we're very used to seeing y equals like 3x plus 1, or y equals 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. But polynomials, we actually like to use We like to use function notation, so instead of y, we can write p of x equals 3x plus 1, or p of x equals 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. And if you haven't come across function notation, watch, watch our video on function notation for this to make a little more sense.